Well, several members of Congress who attended CPAC, the Conservative Political Action Conference, nearly two weeks ago came in contact with a person infected with the coronavirus, and now they are taking action to protect themselves and others. Correspondent Eric Rosales continues our coverage tonight from Capitol Hill. Eric? Well, Tracy, today we got some hard numbers. At least five senators and 12 House members were at CPAC, including Vice President Mike Pence and President Donald Trump. Now, the Capitol attending physicians said that all the lawmakers being monitored remain in good condition, and that includes Senator Ted Cruz and Congressman Paul Gosar. They are in voluntary isolation at this hour. Senator Ted Cruz won't be walking the halls of Congress this week, issuing this statement yesterday. The Republican from Texas says, quote, out of an abundance of caution and to give everyone peace of mind, I've decided to remain at my home in Texas this week until a full 14 days have passed since the CPAC interaction. At the time of the CPAC gathering during last week in February, officials were already reacting to the coronavirus threat. The attending physician for U.S. lawmakers made this statement February 27th. The incubation period from the onset of exposure to the virus to the development of symptoms is approximately four to seven days on average. It may exceed 14 days in some patients. Approximately 80% of people infected become ill with a mild infection and then they recover. Like Senator Cruz, Republican Congressman Paul Gosar of Arizona is also self-isolating. His statement confirms he shows no symptoms either, adding, quote, I am closing my office in Washington, D.C. for the week, and my team will follow the previously approved telecommute plan. Meanwhile, tours continue on Capitol Hill. It's estimated 2.4 million people will visit this year. Karina Davis, visiting from Ecuador, is taking extra precautions. Everybody needs to understand that they need to be a little more hygienic, cleaning, washing hands, and making sure what you touch, so conscious about what we put in our hands. You have the hand sanitizer ready? I have a Clorox wipe with, with, with me. Yes, I have little ones. <laughs> and by the way, we have more developing news. EWTN continues to learn that more lawmakers were possibly exposed to the virus and are currently under self-quarantine right now. Congressman Matt Gates of Florida and Doug Collins of Georgia. I spoke with many lawmakers just before I came on here live, and they say that they are in the process of working on contingency plans for their staff, such as working from home. Tracy. All right. Thank you, Eric. Correspondent Eric Rosales reporting now from Capitol Hill.